are you a teacher or a retired educator who is looking for an out-of-the-box way to make money online? Since you're already in the profession, why not use your skills and love of creating fun lessons to educate kids all around the world? Hi, I'm Samantha, the Get It Done Girl. On this channel, I teach you how to make money online using the skills you have while doing the things you love. In today's video, we're going to explore the world of word search puzzles for kids to see how you can use it as an income source and make up to $3,000 a month. Are you ready to earn some money? Let's get into it. So what is a word search puzzle? As an educator, you may have used these word discovery games in your classroom to help your students relax, have fun, and likely learn new topics in an interesting way. A word search is a puzzle with a list of words arranged in different directions in a grid. And as the name suggests, the aim or goal of a word search puzzle is really to find or discover the hidden words. Word search puzzles for kids can be of any nature of or theme. Maybe you're trying to help kids to grasp the concept of what a noun is, or perhaps you're teaching them about the ocean, sight words, verbs, animals. You have many topics or themes at your disposal. It's your responsibility to go out there and research what themes you could incorporate in your puzzles to make them attractive for parents to buy for their kids. So now that you have a general understanding of what word search puzzles are, let's head on over to Amazon and look at how feasible it is to really earn from these puzzles. Now, what I'm going to be doing is to look at what is trending or what is currently the best seller. And then we will do some calculation to really determine how much money there is to be made. So I'm just putting in word search for kids and let's hit enter. Right. So this is what my search brought up. And right away, there is a best seller. Now I'm just going to give this some time to load because the page is still going. But I'm going to scroll while it completely loads. See, we have many different options here. And what is so awesome about this is that right away we can see that persons are getting sales because there, there are reviews left. All right, so my page has been fully loaded. Now what I'm going to do is to really scroll through because I am going to choose a word search book and then calculate the income potential. So this is a bestseller and it has a BSR or best sellers rank of 4,601. Now I am able to see these um, details because I'm using a plugin. It's called KDP. Amazon BSR and Keyword Research SEO tool. So this extension allows me to see certain details or information about a book without actually clicking on that book. So this has a BSR of 4,601, which means that it is selling very well. So the lower the BSR, the more sales a book is likely getting. So this book is selling really well, 4,000. This one is selling very well as well, very good as well, sorry. And to scroll down further, there are some other options. This one has a BSR of 2,000. This is also a bestseller, but with a lower BSR. So there are so many options here we could choose from, but I'm going to head back up and I'm going to look at this particular word search. The one with the BSR of 4,601. And I'm just going to click further to bring up this book. It says word search for kids ages 8 to 10, 100 
word search puzzles. No, the best thing about knowing the BSR of this book is that we can actually use different free tools online to see the potential or how much um, the person is likely making on a monthly basis. So the bestseller is 4,601. What I'm going to do is to pull up some tools and then we can start calculating. So I'm just going to find the tools I will be using. I have them bookmarked just to access them quickly. So the tool I'll be using is TCK Publishing. So I'll be using this calculator to see how many sales this person is getting on a daily basis. And I'm also going to be using um, Amazon's printing cost and royalty calculator just to get an idea of how much the person is being paid in royalty when they sell a book. So I'm looking at TCK Publishing and this is their calculator. It's pretty simple to use. All I will need to do is just to add the BSR. So the BSR is 4601. I'm going to plug that in, 4601. And it's a book, not an ebook. And I'm going to click Calculate. Now, as we can see, this person is making at least 47 sales a day or about 702 sales a month. So what I'm going to do now is to look back at the book in an attempt to really calculate how much this person is earning per royalty. And then we'll calculate the sales per day along with the royalty that they're being paid. So this is Amazon's calculator. And in order to calculate how much the person is being paid for a sale, I will need the book's page count and the price at which the book is listed. So the price is 6 6.97 I'm going to plug that in 6.97 and what the, there's there are 100, 107 pages so let me put that in sorry 107 that didn't copy properly so I'm going to hit calculate and as we can see the person is earning around two dollar three cents USD when they make a sale so what I'm going to do is to multiply what they're being paid as a royalty with what, what they are at least um, making in a day. So this is 47 sales. So I'm just going to bring up a calculator. And the royalty is 2.03, 2.03 times 47 sales. So this person is making at least $95 a day on one book. So let's do this. Let's say, for example, this person makes $95 every day. Let's do this by 31. Let's multiply it by 31. So they are at least making $2,957 just by publishing a single book word search book so let's say for example this person had several word search puzzles which i think is the case let's click on their author author's page to see what's happening right so this person had has several well two puzzles and let's look at the bestseller the bestseller for this one is five thousand so this person is actually making a lot of money selling word search puzzles if we should go back to the initial um, search that we did, I'm going to scroll down and you would likely see books with lower BSRs. For this one, for, for example, this one, although it's B, it's an FBA book, it has a bestseller or a BSR of 2000. And there are other books like this. So this is really just to give you an idea of how much money you can potentially make just by publishing or selling puzzles, word search puzzles for kids on Amazon. And, and this is just a single puzzle. What if you could create 
many different types of puzzles that you know is sold on a monthly basis so you could actually earn a full-time income essentially just by by really harnessing this way of making money online so now that you're aware that it's feasible to earn a lot of money publishing word search puzzles for kids how do you actually go about creating these puzzles that is the elephant in the room that is a huge question well it's simple to do as a matter of fact personally finding ideas for the puzzles is actually the hardest step in the process but generating the puzzles it's quite easy and that is because there are so many different tools out there that you can use some tools are free and some are premium you will need to pay a price to use these tools free tools they are doable and they can work i mean i demonstrated in a previous video on my channel how you can go about creating word search puzzles using a free tool but i personally believe that these free tools they lack features they lack certain elements and features that you will need to really add life and vibrancy to your word search puzzles and so for me i use an add-in or an add-on with powerpoint to really help me generate my puzzles and this is less this is with less than ten dollars a month so it's pretty cheap now this tool that i'm using i'm going to pull up powerpoint and i'm going to let you see what it looks like and i'm also going to um generate a few puzzles using this tool just so that you have an idea as to how this tool works so this is a puzzle generator tab and for you to have access to this puzzle generator you will need to to purchase it on gumroad that's where i bought it let me open the the puzzle file for you to see how it looks this is what it looks like it's a puzzle generator and it was bought on gumroad i will have a link to it in the description box so if you want to give it a go you can always look out for the link so i'm going to head back i'm going to head back over to powerpoint and I'm just going to give you a general overview of what this tool can be used for and how powerful it is. In fact, it's not just a tool that you use to generate word search puzzles. It has a vast array of puzzles that you can sell. So you don't have to limit yourself to selling word search puzzles. If you want to do tic-tac-toes, tic-tac-logic, Nurikabe, I'm not familiar with this one. All of these different strange names, they are there. There is um, Hangman, these sell on Amazon as well, but these are, these, these will be demonstrated or highlighted in another video. My aim for this one is just to focus on word search puzzles because I do not want the video to be drawn out. So this is just to give you an idea as to how many different puzzles you can create. So let me just count so you have an idea. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-three, about twenty-three different puzzles. So I personally think that for less than ten US dollars a month, if is if this is really something you want to jump into, I think this is really an awesome investment because if you play your cards right you will earn back your money back your investment and so much more in no time so i am going to show you now how to use this tool to generate puzzles so to start this demonstration i'm going to show you the list of words i've previously collected 
for this particular word search. So this is going to be a word search, an animal word search for kids. And I'm just going to start off with 10 puzzles. But if you want to add more puzzles, that's up to you. I'm just starting off with 10 because this is just for demonstration purposes. So I have all the words here. I'm going to have 10 puzzles, as I've mentioned before. And each puzzle will consist of about six words. So these are the words that I am going to need. So what I'm going to do is to open the puzzle generator so that you will have an idea as to what to expect and how to use this tool should you choose to jump into this income stream or way of making money online. So this is what a portion or a part of the generator looks like. Now, this is the CSV or the Excel document that you will need. And this is important because you will have to plug the words that you'll be adding to your puzzle in this Excel file. And once this is done, you will be able to generate the puzzles in PowerPoint. So it's better for me to really show than to explain. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to my Excel document with all my puzzles and I'm going to add them to this document for you to see. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is to activate two screen and this makes it easier for me to really work with. All right, so I have both screens up and I'm going to copy and paste this first puzzle and add it to my generator. So that's puzzle one. Puzzle two will follow and you do not need to leave a line or a space or between words. Just simply add them. So I'm just going to quickly add these. So all my words have been added because I'm using, because I'm going to be using six words per grid. That means I will need 60 words. As you can see here, I have 61, which is good. So I have all the words I need because the cells actually start at two. So I have all 60 words. Now I'm going to, it's important for you to give your puzzle a title i'm not going to do anything special here i'm simply going to put puzzle one and then i'm going to drag the entire i'm going to drag this to i'm going to drag all the cells until it simply just counts for me so i have one to ten so i will have ten puzzles and they will be given this title puzzle one puzzle two and so forth. So I have all my words. I can go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to bring this on the screen. Now after, after adding your words to your puzzle generator Excel's file, Excel file, you will need to go back to the main section. The tab is right here. You will need to go back to main and hit submit. And this is like synchronizing with PowerPoint. Before I move on, there's a feature I want to share with you. There's a config feature. Now what this allows you to do is to customize your word search puzzles a bit. So you can choose what fonts you want. For example, these are all the fonts I plugged into the tool. These are all the fonts I can access. If you want to add a new font, all you will need to do is to add the name of the font. So let's say, for example, I'm going to add 
I'm going to add the font babe. So I'm going to write the name of the font here as babe. And then I'm going to go back to main and I'm going to hit submit and hit OK. So what I'm going to do now is to head back to PowerPoint so we can start generating some puzzles. Now, as you can see, the screen or the slide is not set to the dimension that I want. Typically, word search books for kids are published using a trim size of 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to just go ahead and set my page my page size and to do this i'm going to hit the design feature slide size custom slide size and the width is 8.5 by 11. now a word of caution because you're publishing on amazon kdp they will have certain requirements or specifications concerning your book so let's say for example you are creating a puzzle with all sorry a word search book with over 100 puzzles and the trim size is 8.5 by 11 you will need to calculate how many inches to allocate for your margins the bleed sorry for your margins and the bleed so bear that in mind once you have created an account on Amazon KDP, you will have all this information at your disposal. So you will be able to see um, what you need to allot as margin or bleed, etc. I am just creating this. I'm just demonstrating how to create the puzzle. This is not really a tutorial showing you how to set the margins, etc. I've done that already on my channel. So if you want to have an idea, you can look out for that video or you can simply um, look for the link in the description box. So either way, you will have access to it. So what I'm going to do now is to set my margins. As I said before, this you can access this on my website in detail. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through this again. And this is because of time. I'm just going to go ahead and create my margins. My margin will be set um, to half of an inch, which is 0 0.50. So I'm going to go ahead and start generating my puzzles. Eight by five, hit puzzles, word search. This is just an explanation as to how to play or to use the puzzles. Now this is the first screen to customizing. There are different options for you, for you to choose from. Since I'm creating a puzzle for kids, I usually stick with the first option, which is one grid format. And now this is where things get pretty interesting. You could choose the colors. You could choose a font. As I said before, I will be using Leorio, which is just my preferred font. The size, the header size will be set to 32. This will be set to 30, the size. The rows. The rows, which is going to be the size of the, the word search grid, is set to 12 by 12. And this is going to be dependent on the length of your words. So let's say, for example, you have a word in your puzzle that goes beyond 12 letters. If it's more than 12 letters, you will need to choose 13 rows or at least 13 columns. Because if you choose below... It simply means that you are going to get an error or that puzzle will not be added to the grid. So because I've checked to ensure that um, there are no words beyond 
12 letters, I have decided to set mine 12 by 12. The word the words count is six because I will have six words to each puzzle. And I've ticked this option because I want the puzzle to automatically sort my words A to Z. No, this is the word directions. And you can choose in what direction you want your words to fall. I have selected these because I've found that it is easier for the words to be aligned this way when working with kids. If you want your puzzle to be very difficult, you can choose these other options. But I'm just going to untick these options. And this... you. To see more options, you can click the cog, the cog icon, and the display is in a table or separated by commas. I've always allowed my words to be in a table, and I think this is better for kids. My words are going to be centered, and the font will be in uppercase. It says add gap between word search and word list. You can choose to, uh, to allow this or not. I'm just going to deselect it. And it says solution grids, circling words. So this means that on the solutions page, the words to be found will be circled or highlighted. I, I always choose circling words for kids. And I'm going to hide the words on the solution page because this is not necessarily necessary. So what I'm going to do now is to, I'm changing the font size to 24. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to select, select OK. And this is going to start generating the puzzles. So let's look at it. As you can see, my first puzzle has been added. All right, this has been, this is now 100% complete. It says word search grids 10 created with success. So all 10 puzzles have been created. I'm going to save this so as not to lose it. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So let's check if all my puzzles have been created. I'm going to disable the ruler grids and guides. So this is puzzle one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are all my puzzles. Now, the thing is, you can leave this as is, but I've found that when creating puzzles for kids, it's best to get really creative kids like to see pictures and so it's a good idea to really add pictures to your puzzle so i'm going to show you exactly how to do this all right so i already have my images downloaded since this is a word search about animals it's going it's easier to really add images so what i'm going to do is to just to demonstrate i'm just going to only add images to a single word search because this video is going to get pretty long if i should add images to all the all 10 puzzles so i'm going to go to the insert tab pictures this device and i'm going to locate where i stored my images so on this page puzzle one I have a few animals here. I think I downloaded an ant. Yes, I have an ant and I also have an ant eater. So I'm just going to add those to the page. 
So, so this is my ant eater and this is my ant. And you can choose to position each on the page as you see fit. It is totally up to you where you want to put these. So this is my ant and this is where he's perched. And this is my angry ant eater. So you can choose to create a fancy word search that is up to you. You can add images all over. That is up to you. That is your choice. As far as I'm concerned, most parents are searching for word search puzzles with images. They do not want a, a canvas with only a, a grid and some words. No, it must be appealing. Another thing I like about this tool and the fact that it works so nicely with PowerPoint is that I can add elements to the background. So let me show you what that is like. I'm going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to format background. I am going to give it a picture. I'm going to choose a picture of choice. I do have some pre-downloaded. So let's say, for example, my puzzle has this background. Right off the bat, things, things are now looking better. They are now looking more intriguing. So what I'm going to do is to just do some light editing. And I'm going to move the background from this the table. And I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm also going to add some features or elements to this graphic just so that it looks just so that it glows and you can see it better that's it so this is just an idea of how you can create your puzzles no just something i want you to note when you're creating puzzles for amazon kdp once you're using colors automatically it the book is going to be pricier so most persons have, so most books I've seen on KDP, these are usually, the interior is usually without color. And this is to keep the price within a certain range so that it can be afforded by parents. Because I don't think that a parent is going to be eager to spend up to $9, $10 or even $17 on a word search puzzle when they can simply satisfy with a puzzle for, let's say, $4 or $6. So you might want to bear this in mind. If you're selling puzzles on other marketplaces or as downloadables, printables, then most definitely create it colorful, give it a beautiful background. Whatever it is, do whatever it is you need to do to ensure that it is eye-catching because that is what parents want. And if I was going to buy, let's say, for example, printables, I would definitely buy this and print it out for my child to use. It is beautiful. It is colorful in comparison to these bland pages. So you might have to change the images to black and white. There is a way for you to remove the colors from it. You will need to fool around to really figure that out. I think you have all the information you need to create puzzles on your own, to create beautiful puzzles. And I am just going to end the video here. So if you've learned anything, if the content is valuable to you and you would most definitely benefit from more demonstration videos like this one, Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. I would really appreciate that. And if you can share the video, that would be awesome. 
thank you very much for watching. I know you will dig into everything that I've shared with you. You would, you will consider it deeply because online income is definitely, definitely the way to go. And even if you have a full-time job as an educator already, there's no harm done if you choose to diversify your income because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Anything is possible. So diversify your income, look into creating word search puzzles as a side hustle and let me know in the comment section if you need more information to get started. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.